Buenas and half a day. Thank you so much for being here today and being a part of this, this very, very important resolution presentation for a dear friend, a colleague, and for many people, our encyclopedia of the legislature, <laughs> Mr. Rollin Carl Pablo Villaverde. And uh, before I get started, I'd like to thank my, the senators that are here today to pay tribute to this very amazing man uh, who touched many of our hearts in the legislature and many elected officials who went to him for information that we would know where else to find it. But you can, you can guarantee that if you had a question about the government and needed to find information, all you had to do was call Rollin. And if you didn't know it off the top of the head, which is always the case, it's very rare that he would have to say, I know where to look for it, because he already knew it. We're going to, very, we're going to miss him very much. And uh, this is just a small token of our appreciation. As you know, this resolution will be archived for the rest of the time this government is in place. It's sealed. So it'll be there for his grandchildren, his great-grandchildren, his great-great-grandchildren to look at and think this was my, my grandpa, this was my great-grandpa, and down the line. So we wanted to create history for Rollin and all he's done. And at this time, I'd like to call Syl, his beautiful wife, to come up beside us as, as the senators read um, this Resolution number 400-36 COR, introduced by Tello T. Taitigui, Therese M. Terlahi, Joanne Brown, V. Anthony Ada, Frank Blas Jr., Sabina Flores Perez, Joe S. San Augustine, Tina Rose Munya Barnes, Amanda L. Shelton, James C. Moylan, Christopher M. Duenas. Relative to posthumously recognizing and commemorating the late Roland Carl Pablo Villaverde, for his immeasurable contributions to Guam's economic development, his impact on public policy, and for sharing his love of music with others as a professional musician, and expressing condolences to his family on his passing on behalf of the people of Guam. Be it resolved by the Committee on Rules of Imeni Benti Sais, Nala Hislatur in Guahan, Whereas it is the sense of Ilejes Latour in Guahan to honor the life and accomplishments of those distinguished citizens of this great island. And it is custom of Ilejes Latour in Guahan to pay tribute to those individuals whose professional lives and civic endeavors serve to enhance the stature of Guam. And whereas attendant to such concern and in full accord with this long-standing tradition, it is further the intent of Ilejes Latour in Guahan to posthumously recognize the late Roland Carl Pablo Villaverde. And whereas the late Roland Carl Pablo Villaverde was born on January 15, 1964, and is the son of Terencio Lim Villaverde and Rosario Pablo Villaverde, he was married to the love of his life, Cecilia Sil Perez, on March 31, 1984, and they were blessed with six children, Roland Carl Villaverde, Jr., Vanessa Lynn Villaverde Franquez, Shalom Villaverde, Vandrick Villaverde, Aja Celine Villaverde Heath, and Dory Villaverde. And we're also blessed with nine grandchildren Madden Rye Aurora, Celise, Cora May, Luca, Haley, Aya Jade, Eva Ivan, Sophia Justine, and Luna Jean. And. Whereas the late Roland Carl Pablo Villaverde graduated from George Washington High School in 1981, he studied political science at the University of Guam from 1981 to 1986, and he pursued urban planning courses at Texas A&M University where he earned a professional certificate in 1986. And whereas the late Roland Carl Pablo Villaverde dedicated many of his years of his professional career 
In the private sector as a small business owner and a planning director who led major economic development activities, primarily involving the construction of new hotels, a planned unit development project, multifamily housing accommodations and business centers, and whereas the late Roland Carl Pablo Villaverde owned and operated Roland C.P. Villaverde Land Planning and Development Consulting uh, from January 1988 to July 1990, uh, Landmark Land Planning and Development Consulting from July 1990 to July 1997, and Micronesian Capital Holdings Inc. Development and Master Planning Consulting from 1997 to November 1999, and whereas from November 1909 to September 2000, the late Roland Carl, Carl Pablo Villaverde served as a Census Area Manager of Field Operations for the U.S. Department of Commerce Bureau of Census, where he served as a Principal Technical Compliance Officer and Advisor for Guam Field Operations. And Whereas prior to and after his contributions as a private developer, the late Roland Carl Pablo Villaverde gave of himself to other opportunities in public and private sector service to include working as clerk, Parkinson and NYE Legal Corporation, April to September 1981, legal aid, attorney Benjamin J.F. Cruz, May to August 1982, researcher, 17th Guam Legislature, February to September 1983, Student Regent, the last student regent appointed by the late Governor Ricardo J. Berdalio. University of Guam Board of Regents, May 1983 to Octo October 1984. Administrative Assistant, Office of Mayor Martin Beneventi. Mayor's Council of Guam, Municipality of Dededo, January to December 1984. Program Coordinator 2, Department of Parks and Recreation, January 1985 to September 1987. Program Coordinator 3, Department of Public Health and Social Services, September 1987 to May 1989. Senior Staff Assistant with the Office of Senator Edward B. Calvo during the 26th Guam Legislature from January 2002 to January 2003. Committee Director, Office of Senator John M. Kanata in the 27th Guam Legislature, January 2003 to January 2005. Committee Director, Office of Senator Edward B. Calvo in the 28th and 29th Guam Legislatures, January 2005 to January 2007. Deputy Chief of Staff, Office of Lieutenant Governor Michael W. Cruz and Administrator, Guam State Clearinghouse, February 2007 to January 2011. Chief of Staff, Office of Senator Kelly Marsh Titano in the 35th Guam Legislature, January 2019 to December 2020. And Policy Advisor, Office of Senator Tello T. Taitagui of the 36th Guam Legislature, September 2021 to July 2022. And whereas his major initiatives as a gifted researcher, writer, and administrator the late Roland Carl Pablo Villaverde spearheaded legislation and new programs that funded new ambulances and fire engines. He established government response protocols for major disasters, and he created annual training opportunities for federal grant applications and program management. And? Whereas the late Roland Carl Pablo Villaverde's work as an effective land use planner resulted in the fruition of numerous initiatives, benefiting families across our island with various projects to include the dredging of swimming area at Adaloop and the Harbor of Refuge in Petey, the conversion of the former Adaloop Elementary School to the office of the Governor of Guam, the development of the Veterans Cemetery in Petey, the Las Palmas Townhomes Phase 1 and Phase 2, the acquisition of Muscle Reserv Reserv Reservoir property through the U.S. Department of Interior, the Summer Palace, the Goring Villa Estates, the Hotel Akshan, the Sagani Papao Subdivision, the Ping Pago Villa, the Tumon Holiday Plaza Hotel, the Santa Fe Hotel, the Dededo Town Center, the Onward and Aganya Beach Hotel, and the Para Oceana Business Center. And whereas the late Roland Carl Pablo Villaverde also served the people of Guam through his participation in various civic and professional organizations, to include the University of Guam Student Body Association, 1982 to 1983, the Guam Land Use Commission Development Review Committee, 1984, the Guam Visitors Bureau, 1991, the American Planning Association, 1991, the PC Lujan Parent Teacher Association, 1991, the Association of Land Use Consultants of Guam, 1992 to 1994, 
Itanota Land Use Plan Working Group, 1999, the Guam Uniform Commercial Business Code Task Force, 2006, and the Jigo Municipal Planning Council, 2012. And whereas, in addition to his contributions to Guam's economic development and the creation of major public policies, the late Roland Carl Pablo Villaverde loved music and culture, especially enjoyed playing drums for nearly any occasion he was asked to participate, regardless of whether it involved any monetary compensation. And whereas, the late Roland Carlo Pablo Villaverde's musical talent brought him to perform at countless events all over Guam, where he united with family and connected with friends for years past, and where he helped to introduce the skill of drumming to others, including children and young adults. And whereas the late Roland Carlo Pablo Villaverde was called to internal rest on July 18, 2022, at the age of 58. And our island joins his family in mourning his passing. So now, therefore, be it resolved by the Committee on Rules of Human Interest, Nahalesla Turunguahan, here does hereby, on behalf of Lesla Turunguahan and the people of Guam, posthumously recognize and commemorate the late Roland Carlo Pablo Villaverde for his immeasurable contribution to Guam's economic development, his impact on public policy, and for sharing his love of music with others as a professional musician, and expresses condolences to his family on his passing on behalf of the people of Guam and being further be it further resolved that the speaker and the chairperson of the Committee on Rules certify the legislative secretary attest to the adoption hereof, that copies of the same be therefore transmitted to the family of the late Roland Carlo, Carl Pablo Villaverde and to the Honorable Lourdes A. Leon Guerrero y Magahaga and Guahan. And at this time, I'd like to invite the, the children to come up as well. And also, I'd like to bring up his two brothers uh, to come up as well. Once again, on behalf of the people of Guam, recognizing him, this is just something small that uh, you read. <laughs> we read to you all the history that your father has done, your brother has done, your husband has done. And there's probably another four pages more to go on this. But on behalf of the people of Guam, we thank you so much from the bottom of our heart for allowing him to be a part of making Guam a better place and a safer place to live, si tu smasi. At this time, we'd like to invite everyone else up, and if there might be some room on the back if you want to. We're gonna do a, a group photo, so if we can, maybe some, some everyone can come in the back. And... <laughs> 